Okay, so in this project, we're going to be using the Finch robot to move, and while it's moving, take light sensor readings. So see how bright it is in different parts of it moving. And we're going to store 10 values. Now, we could store the values in variables. So we could create 10 variables and store 10 values in them and then print those 10 variables. Problem with that is that it's just too much. Imagine you want to take 100 light sensor readings or you want to take uh, a reading every 10 seconds for like an hour. That's just going to be too many variables to handle and it's really bad programming to do that. Besides, you can't always know how many variables you're going to need from the beginning. So if you create a large enough array, you can just use that one array to do that. We're also going to be touching on array lists later, and it's actually going to be one of the exercises for you to change this code that we're going to write now so that you use array lists and that you don't even have to specify how big the array is. You can just keep adding and adding uh, light readings. Okay, let's go ahead and start coding. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new class. We're going to call that class light array. we open that class now we're going to see the standard sort of description so because we want to write the code from the beginning from scratch let's just get rid of all this code start afresh what we want to do the first thing is to import edu.cmu.ri.createlab. Trick dot robot dot finch dot finch. Notice it's a capital F. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. This is just basically saying import all the libraries that we need to use the finch command, such as the light array sensors and the movement and all that things. It's connecting online and it's finding all these libraries so that we can use them. So then we continue with public class and we create our class which is called light array close that class there and inside we add our public static void main class this is pretty standard Okay, now we're ready to start programming the finch. And to start programming the finch, we create an object. And we're going to create it's a finch type object, which is my finch. There we go. So we now have uh, an object of type finch, which we can use in order to play around with it. And make it do things. I've been asked a lot of questions. Can we create multiple Finch objects? We can, um, but the technology at this point in time is not dedicated to controlling more than one Finch robots. So at this point in time, I wouldn't recommend creating more than one um, Finch object at a time. Now, the second thing that we want to do is to create our array. Right now, we've got the robot set up and at some point it's going to start moving and taking light sensor readings but we want to create an array to store that. So it's an integer array because the values will be coming in as numbers. And let's call that light reading. And we're going to give it 10 values. So what we're going to do is we're just going to limit the fact that it's going to move 10 times and take 10 readings from 10 different places. You could put more if you want. Feel free to play with the code. But for our purposes now, we'll just do the 10. Also going to have a counter. And this will help us when we're doing the loops to move within those counters. I'm going to initialize that at zero. So we want to say now to the robot, you're going to move forward 10 times, just a little bit every time. And every time you move, you're going to take a reading of how much light there is. So we need a while loop. You can do this with the for loop. You can do this many different ways. I'm going to use a while loop 
because I think it's the makes the most sense. If you don't remember how to use a while loop, go back to your tutorials, have a look. And what we're saying here is we're saying, well, that counter is less than 10, keep doing something. So here's the while loop. And inside that while loop, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna move the robot, and then we're gonna take a light sensor. And obviously we're gonna increment I every time so that we only reach 10 times and not more. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to move the robot. And we're gonna say my finch, which we've called the object, dot set wheel velocities. And inside we're gonna do 100, so it's gonna move out a velocity of 100 for the left wheel, 100 velocity for the right wheel, and then that's gonna move for just under a second, roughly under a second. So that's the first thing that the finch is gonna do. The second thing that's gonna do, it's gonna take a reading, okay? So now we need to start populating our array. So we're gonna say light, reading we called it at position i remember that the first position is zero our arrays start at zero not at one so light reading i which is zero at this point in time will be my finch dot get left light sensor plus my finch dot get right light sensor now you've probably realized by now that the finch robot actually has two light sensors and what we're gonna do here, and why we're doing all this, is we're getting the two light sensors from the left and the right eye, if you wanna call them, and dividing them by two, which basically gives us the average of what the finch is getting in the left eye and what it's getting in the right eye, so that we have one reading instead of two. If you want, you can play around and just do what the difference between the left eye and the right eye is, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna divide it by two and get the average of the two sensors. So we are moving the finch, then we're getting a light reading, and then the last thing that we wanna do is increment our counter so that it moves on to number one, and that will iterate 10 times. Now, at this point in time, if we run the code, what it's gonna do, it's gonna activate the finch, the finch will go forward 10 times, and then it will just take the readings and store them in the array. It won't actually print anything to the screen because we haven't told it, it just populates our array. So what we want to do is we want to, at the end of this while loop, when it's already taken the 10 readings, go through the loop one at a time, the loop of the array one at a time, and print all the values that are stored in that array. We should have 10 values by the end of this while loop. So what we do is we, put our counter back to zero to start from scratch. And then we do another while similar to the one above. So while I is less than 10, we want it to system dot out dot print line. And we want it to print what? Light reading I is. So it's going to look for the array zero in light reading and it's going to print that. Then we increment our counter and that's going to go around 10 times printing light reading zero, light reading one, light reading two, all the way up to nine. So zero to nine, 10 readings. And that should now print out what we need. So that's all the code we need to create the finch object. We then create the array that's gonna store 10 values. We initialize our counter variable at zero. 
We're saying while our counter is less than 10, so from 0 till 9, it'll iterate 10 times, it'll move the finch 10 times, it will take a reading from the two light sensors and divide them by 2. So we get the um, average of the two. Increment our counter, so that, loops happen, that loop happens 10 times. We reinitialize to 0 because now we want to go through our array and print everything. We've got our while loop there that does exactly the same as the previous while on the top of the code. And then while we go through our array, we just print out what the value is inside that array. So now if you watch the video, you should see the uh, Finch in action. And that should get 10 readings and print them to a screen while it moves.